be opposing this amendment. I call the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Speaker, on behalf of New Zealand First, we rise to oppose this SOP, and we've got to ask the question as to why on earth, after all this time, with all the protestations of how far out from today the public of this country was advised, they finally got around to finding a title for it. And right now, the minister's sitting there, he's, he's mum on why they're calling it mom. <laughs> not saying a word, not rising to his feet, being challenged pretty seriously in a very narrow debate, as you know, Mr. Speaker, and you would expect at least to get an answer at this point in the stage in the debate, but no, nothing at all. The fact of the matter is that the uh, legislation that change that we've got here, uh, this change of title, begs the question of, on how fragile and brittle and ham-fisted the thinking and preparation behind this bill has been. And it is really indicative of the fact that as the debate has gone through month after month and their, rims, their reasons have been proven to be so flimsy and immaterial, they have kept shifting their ground and today, here, late in the piece, they're shifting their ground on the title. And Mr. Sorry, Dr. Norman is entirely right. Uh, you, you usually expect from the far left to have this sort of psycho babble, Freudian type of uh, uh, psychology where people uh, read between the lines or get uh, subliminal messages. And to expect that to happen by way of this title is, I think, a bridge far too far. Uh, frankly, why don't you just call it the mixed ownership, how I sold my country down the drain bill. <laughs> the mixed ownership, how I decided to be a quizzling bill. No, Six, the quiz, the, the mixed, no, 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 this is it. I'm talking about this title. Why haven't you called it the mixed ownership, how I became a Benedict Arnold against New Zealand interest bill. <laughs> that would fit everything that those members over there were doing. So why have you chosen the MOM, the mixed ownership model? Ah, see, there you go. See, see Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm allowed to respond to that. He said, what happened when, when Winston sold the airport bill? Everybody knows the National Party had that policy. Everybody knows that the only person that saved it from going to international interest was the demand that it go to New Zealand interest. And everybody knows that I said at the end of the experiment that it was a big mistake and I regret that. But when they came along on the Wellington airport, I walked out of the second most powerful job in this country. That's my bona fides. That's my good faith. I wouldn't sell the Wellington Airport. I wouldn't do it twice because I knew it would made a mistake. And I also went on to, to stop the multinational agreement on investment. That's my bona fides. And I don't want no Johnny come lately, being here five minutes from, uh, from southwest Auckland, to get up and try and say, what has Winston Peters done or what is his record? My record compared to you makes me a paragon of virtue on these issues unlike those people there who will do anything to sell their country down the drain as long as the whips say that's part of the caucus agenda. So I hope we don't hear any more type of behaviour or conversation or criticism like that because I've got a lot more to talk about the National Party's record if you want me to. But it's too narrow, it's too wide for this debate. It's too wide for this debate. Back to my point. $120 million being used to prepare this legislation and possibly millions on deciding what the name of this title will be and literally late in the piece showing how flimsy the preparation has been, they come up with this. And then of course they have the audacity to say, you know, the Greens are spending 70000 trying to get a petition up. They spend $120 million on things like trying to find the title yeah. and they have the audacity to, to criticise someone else. How fraudulent and deceitful is that? One twenty million for them, and no one can use a little bit of money to try and stop this sort of behaviour. I want to say uh, that there is a better name, and I've given you a number of options. It should not be the mixed ownership model. It's not a matter about public finance at all, frankly, in that concept. They came along with one title, and late in the piece they want to change it. They have, should have called it, under New Zealand First View and Interpretation, very recently be arrived at the Benedict Arnold how the National Party sold down the country bill. <laughs> I call the Honourable Member Chris Hipkins. Thank you Mr Chair.